What's good, people? What is good? What is good? Check the globe. We got the globe out here. What is good? The world keeps turning. And <laughs> that's an Eminem song. See, I swear YouTube's gonna kill this swag. Oh yeah, I got my hairnet on from work. I wanted to see how it looked on video. Get that hairnet. Tame that hair, man. Like, that hair's getting tamed today. It's caught in a net. Like some wild fish out here. Um, caught in that net. But yeah. What was I saying? Oh yeah, YouTube completely destroying... You know, I want to say swagger, but just not letting me put classic songs on my on my channel. But I'll probably do it anyway, because they're cutting the impressions like in half on videos that I put with these songs on them. Like I had some instrumentals on the last one. Death's where the Beatles, the number one band is the Beatles, then second is Led, oh, Led Zeppelin in my opinion. But I talk about that in another video. I mean, yeah, but I'll probably, I'll just put songs on it anyway, just because, like, fuck it. It's just what I want to do, so we'll just call it good on that, and then we'll just see what happens with the impressions later. Yeah, um, what was even today's video going to be? Oh, yeah, I was just, honestly, I guess I was just going to tell y'all, like, have good posture, man. Like, be your mom or some shit. Like, be your parents. Tell you I have good posture. I was gonna say use both sides of your body. I had a video about this like way, way earlier. Um, like back when I was like, I was using music even more back then. Um, but yeah, like, uh, what was it? How do I put this? Yeah, I mean, I guess just good posture, um, like open hips and shit. Nothing that, you know, a physical therapist or whatever wouldn't tell you, but like, yeah, I think. Honestly, I think it's like one of the most underrated things. People don't know how to use It's like Coach Greg Adams says in his videos, like people walking on their tippy toes, people walking like like ducks and shit, I think he says. People walking like ducks. Because um, like we like we don't know how to move our bodies, man. Just, um, I think just fact of the matter. And it is, it sounds funny. At least it sounds funny to me because we're supposed to be human, right? Like, how do you not know how to move your body as a human? Which, you know, people know how to move their bodies to get here to there, obviously. But just the amount of muscles that we don't use on a regular basis because we're, you know, we're trained. However, I mean, I went to public schools, so I'm trained to sit, you know, six hours a day or something, something crazy like that on, on a regular day. Man, you'd be sitting on that desk. And then even if you had bad posture or something, oftentimes, you know, a teacher would, if the teacher still cared, right, the teacher would call you out and say, like, hey, you know, don't sleep or, like, sit up straight and shit. But, yeah, just, you know, if you were, like, a good student and all that shit, you sat, like, six hours a day and everything, um, you know. So, yeah, sometimes, like, the most workout I would get was literally the walk to the bus stop in the mornings and back from the bus stop or like the walk from class to class especially when they stopped PE in my junior and senior year of high school yeah so I mean um and you know it wasn't even until college that I knew there was like another way to exist right I was just so used to being in school for that chunk of the day and like sitting down like that so I just never thought it was I never thought it was out of the ordinary or anything like that um but yeah, just the amount of muscles that you don't use, and that would mimic like an office job or something, right? Like what were they preparing you for? I don't know. Um, or preparing you to be in college, I guess. That's what some a lot of high school did, but you know, college you're sitting down too. But college you can skip class. Um, so sorry, go, before I go off on a tangent there, yeah, basically because we were taught otherwise, man, like a lot of people don't even learn how to stand up straight until until later on in life, man. I mean, same here. Like, you're talking to a, like, even me, myself. So that's why I can say it with a laugh, and I know it's true. Because it, hap I mean, it happened to me, and I see it with other people all the time, too. And I didn't even notice it until, like, I can just barely, st I probably, I don't even think I can stand up all the way straight now, personally. I'm probably still only, like, 80% of the way there. Like, I'm, there's just, 
I feel like muscles that I may never even get back. Um, you know, like they've at maybe atrophied all the way to the point where like you can't get them back. I don't know. But like, you know, use it or lose it. That's the thing you learn in physiology. If you take any like biology or physiology in your coursework, like use it or lose it. So it's like, if you just, that's why, you know, one of the, one in, in, in my, in the discord, one of the, one of the guys in there, he always talks about how like, you know, school screwed you over by having you sit down for, for so long. Like, some of the most unhealthy things are commonplace in our society. He talks about, like, food and shit, sitting down in your formative years and stuff like that. So, yeah, a lot of people, they don't even, they don't learn how to stand up and straight until later. Like, me, I'm in, in my mid-20s, and I'm finally just standing up straight now, like, with open hips and shit. Like, using my feet properly to, like, feel the ground and all that shit. You know, that... Because you know, some things we just don't learn the basics about being human in school, man. Like, we never do. We never do. And then if your parents don't, like, how are they going to teach you, right? Even if, like, you're homeschooled. Like, if they weren't taught some shit, what are the odds of it getting passed on to you? Like, especially through them. Um, so that that's just funny to think about. Yeah, I mean, even run shows. See, I played sports, too, is the thing. I played sports just with bad posture and, like, bad running style, bad running form. My running form now, I'm just now using the right muscles, like, the power muscles and shit. So it's, like, if I ran now and I got in shape as I was back then when I was, like, running awful, like, I don't even know, man, like, that... Because I, I was running six-minute miles back when I was in late middle school, early high school with horrible posture. Like, or who knows, maybe my posture was better back then and then, like, maybe I lost in high school. I'm not, I'm not sure. I mean, I know my fitness was in terms of, like, lung, like the shape my body was in and my lung capacity. I mean, if you just, if I ran a mile today, if it wasn't eight minutes, I'd be a miracle. It might be, like, nine minutes or something. But back then, my slowest mile was, like, eight minutes. Like, I would never get, you know, I, like, that was if I was, like, fucking around jogging with one of my buddies or something for, for a good portion of it. Like, when I would run, when I would run just normal, I'd get, like, six, seven, six minute miles, seven minute miles. Um, so I can't even imagine what I get now. Like I was even like, you know, using the wrong muscles and shit. So, so it is what it is. Like I wasn't even using the whole left side of my body that, but you know, maybe it got worse and I, I'm pretty sure a lot of this probably did get worse later in high school because I was like sitting down and trying to study a bunch because I was trying to get into a good college and all that. So by sophomore year of high school, I was like not doing anything athletic really. Um, so maybe that probably affected it. That probably did affect it or good amount so I probably went up and down who knows but I know I wasn't standing up straight though back then I don't think I was because my whole like you know just I feel like one side of my body is literally each day and like I'm eating better too because of like this job I'm, I literally work in the kitchen so I can eat all the time I'm eating better in that job so I feel like one side of my body is literally like coming back alive again it's like hard to explain um, but maybe some of you guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah, so I guess just good posture man, stand up straight. I don't know what I'll title the video, and I'll probably just put music in there if it's not too long already. Maybe no instrumentals, like I'm kind of too lazy to go find those right now. Like I'll probably, men, Beatles, number one band, just like what I'm going to end on. Beatles are number one band, Led Zeppelin's number two. Yeah, that's all I got for this one. All right, I'll catch y'all later, guys. Hopefully, hopefully Mike and I can see the next video. All right, peace out, guys.